tough to keep a hot bite hush hush, a sign of the times on Lake Waconia. <laughs> Just look at all the people. It was a city this winter. But come the close of the fishing season, so strange to see sudden near silence. Until this crew rolls in. Who needs a hammer and or chisel? A day focused less on what anglers take from our lakes and instead... Any gloves you need, I got them. ...what they choose to leave behind. Number one, safety. Safety, safety, safety. You're doing something really good today, making the world a little bit better place, taking care of this lake. On this trailer, this trailer too. Go ahead, guys. Find the trash. We are the Waconia High School Conservation Club. Today we're coming out to Lake Waconia in our town here to pick up some trash from the ice fishing season. Good Minecraft over <laughs> You get a lot of people coming out here for a whole day. They have food, they have, I mean, the people who smoke a bunch of cigarettes, that stuff. And either they throw it out there because they're littering or it, sometimes it just happens. So we just come around and help protect the lake. Protect by picking. Uh, I don't know, maybe a bike lock? Thousands of pieces of stuff. After all, one man's trash becomes another's. I feel like a cigar. Trouble. A treasure hunt that you don't want to ever do it. Oh yeah, it's horrible. There's trash everywhere. Uh, just a single glove. I don't know how somebody loses just one glove. I think you might be in the lead, dude. Oh, with everything? Yeah. Yeah. Wood stakes, blocks, broken glass, all garbage that eventually ends up in our lakes, including this. Oh, oh, yeah, where's that? There we go, throw it in there. That's biohazard right there. What? Yeah. Crap, <laughs> pardon the pun, by those who litter our lakes. Like well, put it in that trash can before you recognize it's a turd. <laughs> was there a light? It was it? Okay, it was probably some foam or something. You know, there's stuff that is not great. There's a lot of poop bags. People will eat some human excrement. A monster. <laughs> some cardboard stuck in the ice. Fishing line. Quite a bit of plastic. So. I have an alcohol bottle. Let me take it out. <laughs> yeah, free oil. A few plastic bags as well. Maybe not weirdest, but one of my friends found a pair of AirPods fully intact. Poop? Yeah, a lot, lot of, of that. It. A lot of that. <laughs> Making a contribution. <laughs> Say hi, George. Say hi to the guy. <laughs> boy. Looking out the window, we saw him out here in the middle in between the peninsula and the island. Like, oh, this is great. Nice to see. It's a chance for them to get out and give back a little bit and realize what it takes to make sure that we always have this resource. Some tissues or like a lot of different people can come together through it, and it's just really fun to be outside. These three bags here of good old fashioned Waconia ice trash. So next time you leave garbage behind, think of these teens. Have we got to do this today? Yeah. Somebody down the road is going to enjoy this resource because of what they did. We just have to find a balance for being active in the environment and having fun while still making sure that we're caring for it. Pretty poignant words from kids who pick up after adults. It's like, geez, people have no care for that kind of stuff. Way to go. Made your lake, your resource a little better today. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Nice, nice job. They know this is theirs, and they're going to take care of it.